What is going on, everyone? And I apologize for the late start today. Very late start today. But it's all worth it. The San Francisco Giants do pick up the victory, salvage a game in the series, and they do it with a pretty strong win today. 7-1 the final behind Jordan, uh, Jordan Hicks today, who throws six strong, gives up just um, what do you give it? Just two hits, one run. So the Giants do get it. We'll wrap it up. We'll talk about the game today. I mean, it's no need to go get super excited, just like it's no need to. It's the end of the world when we lose a game. But it's nice to go on this road trip with a W, and it's nice to see the offense break out and some of these key guys break out and help out Jordan Hicks, who pitched great, deserved a win, gets the win, and the Giants. Now head off to Florida to try to get it going over there and uh, got to have a good series there, but very important to not get swept by the Washington Nacionales. So uh, it is what it is. And I didn't know if Jason Corona would show up. I was like, please let Jason Corona show up. I hope you can hear me. Okay. Cause I got to get the car running so the, so the phone could charge. Um, yeah. No home runs the entire homestand. We'll get on that in a minute, but $10 super chat from Jason Corona for the cafecito. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for that super chat right there. That is amazing. Uh, Jason Corona comes through big time. And uh, thank you so much for that. We have the Calioke Connection Dinero. We have Matthew. We have Michael Roeder. We have Jason Corona here. Re real Glock. No power. Real. Some people don't like the N-word. What? What's this? What? Who said the N-word? What's going on up in here? Matthew Hicks is looking amazing. Uh, keeping it 100% right here. Hanniger, uh, Hanniger over with Seattle is tearing it up over there. 262, 11 hits, 47 at-bats, two home runs. Uh, make sure the cops aren't bothering us here. Golden Jets. So we'll break this one down. Um, now, this game, didn't, unlike the uh, last couple games, this game didn't get started in the right way. The Nats scored first on a Joey Gallo shot to that short porch in right field. Joey Gallo, who's either going to hit a home run or strike out or maybe walk. And this time, he hit a home run, unfortunately. So Joey Gallo put the Nats up 1-0. Thank you again, Jason Corona. You're the man. Um, but the Giants came roaring back in the bottom half of the second. Gallo hit it in the top half. Chapman with the base hit. And Nick Ahmed. And that's the not the last time we'll hear from Ahmed with the triple to drive in Chappie, making it 1-1. And then Tyler Fitzgerald, who had been over three with three strikeouts, no more of that. Tyler Fitzgerald with the base hit in the RBI. Giants take a lead. Fitz for the first stolen base all year, steals second. For the second stolen base all year, steals third. And then Austin Slater with the base hit to drive in another run, 3 1 Giants. And we kept adding on from there in the fifth. Ahmed with the base hit. Fitz with another double. Fitzgerald, this was the Ahmed Fitzgerald show today. And also, Flores got in on the action with a sack fly. And then Michael Conforto, who's been awesome with a base hit. 5-1 at that point. Uh, Nick Ahmed with another base hit in the sixth inning. I think it drove in a run, making it 6-1. Wade Jr. drove in Fitzgerald. So, like I said, Fitzgerald and Ahmed were just all over this game. A little bit of help from guys like Wade and all the regulars, Flores and Slater and Conforto. But nice to see everyone contributing a little bit. And uh, the Giants get the win. Shout out to the bullpen. Ryan Walker, um, Landon Roop, and uh, Eric Miller all pitched very well. So, gotta love it. I went to several different colleges, Kayla. Um, but uh, the one you might have heard of is most local is uh, California State University, Stanislaus. Stanislaus, the Warriors. The Warriors. Um, hit the like button, everybody. Um, do appreciate all the amazing support. Uh, this, but I was in the Army, so I've been, I've been to all sorts of different colleges. Um, but, uh, you know, when we're talking about local status loss all day, um, we definitely needed that victory today and the steals and base running caused some chaos. Yeah. I mean, got a little overly aggressive at one point got thrown out, but 
I'd rather get thrown out once in a while and keep the pressure on, put the the, the pedal to the metal and keep the pressure on. And um, that's what we did today. And the Giants got it. Now, obviously, Corbin, not great. He's not like it's not like something to write home about that we, you know, got a bunch of runs off of of uh, Patrick Corbin at this point in his career. He hasn't been good for a couple of years. And the bullpen is obviously has already shut us down two nights. So it's not like this is like, oh my gosh, the Giants are back. But it had to happen. This had to happen. If we would have lost like seven to one, you would see a whole different attitude right here. I'd be ready to be like, I don't know what's going on, but it's not good. Um, instead, the Giants do get the victory. And the cloud, it was amazing. Kayla, finally, cloud connected. They swung at the ball more. Uh, I'm uh, 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 petition to start Fitz over Estrada. Uh, I don't know about that because Estrada is a beast. And uh, that's a tough one right there. That's a tough one. Well, maybe he's well-educated. He didn't just go to college. He went to all of them. Oh, yeah. Harvard, Yale, Caltech, you know, all the big ones, you know. Um, but they were just too easy. It was just so easy. Like, I was like, this is just too easy. So I started a YouTube channel. I was like, you know, uh, I noticed them not being so timid today. Nice, good pitching as well. Keeping it 100%. He had, had just had a slow start. Large turkey. Uh, uh, you Now, over Yaz, maybe. Uh, like I said, I for a seat ball, hit ball, Conforto with not the best swing of his group, but still trust his hand-eye coordination. And um, big, big, big series to come. Big road trip here. The first road trip was crap. The homestand was not great. Uh, can't say this was a very good homestand. What did we end up? 500 on the homestand. And sure, we had some nice hits today, but not to hit one long ball on the homestand. We haven't had a home home run yet. That's kind of disappointing. And uh, like we said earlier, but, you know, I don't need home runs if we can drive in runs and put guys on base and hit with runners in scoring position. We don't need home runs. That's been a weakness from this team, hitting with runners in scoring position. So uh, I think it's just wait and see, and uh, uh, we'll keep on fighting, keep on keep on rolling, but go sweep the Marlins, and we're right back in the thick of things and looking good. So uh, we can get back on the right page in, in uh, um, um, Miami. Miami. Um, and uh, that's it. Solaire, Solaire's kind of slow start. A couple of bombs in Los Angeles. Marlins are Tampa. have good records. I haven't checked on the Marlins. They're, they, I thought they were doing terrible. I thought they were like one in six. Matos is definitely, would definitely perform better than Yaz. But Yaz did pick up a couple hits yesterday. So, um, yeah, I thought the Marlins suck. <laughs> did someone say the Marlins are? Marlins are Tampa have good records. Yeah, Marlins don't. Two and eleven is not good at all. Everyone wants Matos, but I don't think he uh, uh, is ready. I think you're trying to say I don't think he's ready yet. I'm um, calling on Pat Burrell to do his job. Guys, got to hit better. Yeah, some good timely hitting today. Everything kind of came together. The Giants were getting their way, getting some um, even some balls they didn't hit particularly well. Ended up finding holes. The luck kind of turned around today, and now we got to continue that. But yeah, you go to to Miami and have a hard time against the Marlins and their organization falling apart, then we got big freaking problems. Seem to have lost my pen again. I think it's in the car. So pen, this, this pen, I'm going to have to stop. Where uh, I'm going to have to just put the pins. Uh, that, this particular hat does not have a very good, uh, this particular pen does not have a very good, there it is. I see it. Let me grab this before I, before I lose it. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. I got to get the, the pen. This pin right here, I keep losing it, and I don't want to lose it anymore, so I'm not going to put it back on the hat. I've lost it. It's fallen off already a couple of times. We can't be losing pins up in here. That's one of my spring training pins. Um, spring training 2024 was a very fun spring training. Scottsdale, Arizona, this is one of them. And then, of course, we got the other couple on here. This one's a Route 66, and this is a the official one that you buy in the store. But it, who cares about all that? Because all we care about is winning baseball games. Makes me wonder if Gabe still does his nightcap show in Miami. I don't know, but I did listen to the pregame show today, and I listened to Bob Melvin. Uh, Bo, Bo, what do they call him? Bo, Bo Mel? Is it Bo Mel? Uh, I listened to Bob Melvin on the pregame show. Seemed pretty, pretty cool, pretty laid back. Uh, first time I'd listened to him. 
sounds totally different, totally different voice, totally different mannerisms than uh, Kapler. Kapler got that deep voice, um, like scary deep voice, like don't mess with this dude. But um, Bob Melvin, a little more laid back sounding. I don't know how they're managerial styles, but you need to put the lollygagger video from Bull Durham. Get the guys fired up. Oh, yeah, Bull Durham, great film. Love it here. Uh, Warlock, thank you so much. Uh, also, the Tampa Bay Rays are 7-6. and six. Bad to at least the A's winning games go A's. Oakland A's. Got to get it going here. Tough start for them, obviously. Tough situation. Bowmel. Bowmel. Okay. It is Bowmel. Yeah. Gap, yeah, Kapler's with uh with with Miami now. He's uh yeah. Would love to hear Bob Melvin pregame or postgame. Yeah, yeah. Turn it to KNBR. Uh, I know you're not in in the in you know like local, but uh, maybe you could turn on the app, uh, find an app or something, or go to the website. Yeah, listen to the pregame show on KNBR, and you'll be able to hear it. Oh yeah, I'll be going to A's game in Sacramento. There ain't no doubt about that. Just for the curiosity of it just to see big league baseball in that ballpark. Obviously we've seen it with the matchup Gi Giants against River Cats, but I'm talking about like Judge is gonna be there. Trout is gonna be there. What? I have a feeling Giants media wasn't too fond of Kapler and I'm not surprised Kapler was weird and his interviews were always so awkward. We still suck real Glock. I hope they can change your mind on that. Yeah, I need an app or something because uh, yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that said. kmr has got a pretty strong, strong signal, but I don't think it's making it that far um but i picked it up like in like in arizona i picked up i've been able to pick up kmbr pretty far out back in the day back in the day before we had apps and i'm trying to get the game while i'm traveling i hear it i hear it i've been like in, like in new mexico not, not maybe not new mexico but definitely arizona and like utah nevada i've been able to pick up kmbr back in the day nowadays they got an app nowadays we got apps so we don't have to do that back in the day we didn't have no app Back in the day, there was no way to listen to the game. If you weren't there in California, you could not listen to the game unless you could unless you get that radio to get KMBR. You know what I'm talking about? You get them in Reading? Yeah. So I used to be going outside. I used to be in the Army going outside, trying to find, kind of, kind of trying to climb up hills, trying to get the signal. Uh, Jackson Holiday got promoted to Absolute Machine. Check out the video. Shout out to Matt Antonelli. Put out a video showing Jackson Holiday swinging a bat today. In the, as a major leaguer compared to him swinging a bat as a basically a baby, a toddler. I mean, I'm talking two, three years old. His swing has not changed. His swing is identical. The follow through, the load, the stance, the way he releases the bat, everything is identical from age of three to the big leagues. I thought tomorrow's a day off. Yeah, we play Friday. Uh, Ipe Mitsuhara Shohei, ex-interpreter, negotiating guilty plea. Oh, my gosh. Is it just me or is it extremely likely the A's will draw more fans in Sacktown than Oakland? I think it's probable. probable. Uh, it's, it's very probable. How tough can you be if you snap your Achilles tendon on a home run trot? Who did that? Uh, there was, wasn't there an injury scare today? Yeah, yeah. Very briefly, um, Jordan Hicks was feeling something on his knee or something uh, on his leg got tweaked, which is better than the elbow or the arm. And uh, the trainer came out to talk to him and it uh, was a very scary moment because we can't be having Jordan Hicks get hurt. We cannot have Jordan Hicks get hurt. Uh, so that was a scary moment. Um, yeah. Can be our app or the, I want to say I heart, I heart app can also get it. Matthew, the stadium is much smaller. It is much smaller, so it may not be able to fill as much. Randy Runoson, $1.99. Thank you so much. And it's silent support. Like, I ain't got nothing to say. Boom. That's all I got to say. And, and that's all you got to say. Thank you so much, Randy, for that. That is huge. I, I really didn't. I, I thought maybe, maybe Jason would show up and hook it up, which he did. But. I thought that would be it. Randy hooks it up as well. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it for the one ninety nine. Uh, Jim Thorkill Kapler snapped his tendon on a freaking home run trot. Jeez, I didn't know that. Or I did not know that. Hicks can definitely be a front end guy, uh, a tribe. I think so. But oh my goodness! 
Oh my goodness. Both Falcon just gifted 10 memberships. Both Falcon just gifted 10 subs, 10 gifties. Moment of silence for both Falcon. I had to take my hat off for that one. Bo Falcon with 10, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, not 10. Well, yes, 10. 10 gifties. Thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. That is absolutely crazy. Um, now I'm trying to get the chat here. I apologize, man. I apologize. Oh my God, Bo Falcon, major subs, eyes on it. We got a freaking win, large turkey. So yeah, um, heading off to Miami. We should get Logan Webb ready in one of those games, I think. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe I think in game three, we should have some of our guys there ready to go by then. And uh, hopefully we can uh, take care of business over there and take care of those Miami Marlins, take care of the fish. We're going fishing and we got to take care of business. I'm not sure what's after that. Someone maybe remind me. I, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but I think it's a tougher matchup. I think it's a tougher matchup after that, if I if I remember right. Uh, Blake Snell against this form, or is it the Rays? Do we go to the Rays right after? Are we are we got two series in Florida? Are we heading to Trop the Trop, Tropicana? I've been to the Trop. I've been to the Trop. Uh, oh my God, Bo Falcon, thank you again for that. That is amazing. Oh my God, Randy, Randy, three for three, Ahmed, three for three, Fitzgerald, six for six, and it's a forty nine ninety nine. It's basically a fitty, a fitty. What? Thank you so much, Randy. Randy. Oh my goodness. Rays then Marlins. Oh, is it Rays first? I'm tripping. I thought we'd play the Marlins first. Okay, Rays then Marlins. I'm tripping. Uh, 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 okay. Well, whatever. Florida, we got to take care of business. Rays, we got to take care of business. Thank you so much, Randy. That that is that's incredible. Um, that right there definitely deserves the. Uh, Craig Kimbrell video. Thank you, Randy. You, you unbelievable. I want because yeah, uh, yes, Randy. I wonder what would happen if somebody sent Eric one K. Um, I think I might. I think I might like start shaking and just have a a seizure or something like. So probably don't even like, no. Like I, I think like like fifty is about my max. This 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 was shocking. I did not expect that. Thank you so much. It really does help out. I'm tr I'm I'm rolling on doing this baseball thing, and we're we're running the Hum Baby Baseball Channel all day. I'm doing stuff for it. Uh, Hum Baby prospects. Hum Baby checking out these guys getting ready for the draft. Following big league baseball, doing the post games, doing the documentaries, keeping it going. And um, this you guys are 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 making it happen right now. Thank you so much, uh, Randy. Uh, Cause yeah, uh, Giants Central. If it happened a lot, Eric gets a lot of gas money. Oh yeah, we need that gas money with the gas prices. Yeah, we got it through the through the money. You're then you know, and I, I, I yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. J crap, I learned so much. I owe you. Uh, you the man. You the man. Period. Kayla gonna eat Senna dinner. I got some on my face, or is it like the, my phone's dirty? I don't even know. Um, thank you so much. Real Glock 19, baby. Everyone else, thank you for the 10 gifties and the 50. The Giants do win today. Player of the game today is none other than oh, I don't even know who to take. Ahmed. Do we take um uh Fitzgerald? Do we take um uh Hicks? 
Uh, do we take someone else? Uh, so many guys contributed today. Put your guy in the chat. Uh, since Nick Ahmed, I think, has, has already uh, been mentioned in the past, and Jordan Hicks has definitely gotten it before, we'll give Tyler Fitzgerald his first player of the game this year. Tyler Fitzgerald, Fitzy, player of the game, but put your guy in the chat because they're all deserving. Uh, we'll go with Fitz Warlock. I concur. Warlock 9148. Thank you for the support and thank you um, for your player of the game. Fitzy is a good one. Uh, Fitzgerald, we got Fitz. Eric, you do better Giants content than Ben Caspic. Oh, that's, that's, that's big words. I know Ben. I listen to his podcast. Me and Ben are like this, okay? Not really, but I do. I do have talked to Ben, and um, we've been talking about getting together and doing something. You know, it just hasn't happened yet. But uh, oh, we got a five spot, I think. Eric, you have the most likable person on YouTube. No fluff, just pure Eric. And pure. Man, I pre <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Five from Michael Roeder. Fitzgerald. Who would have thought Fitzgerald was the missing ingredient? Um, that's a five spot, and that is not good. That is not nothing small. Thank you so much, Michael Roeder, for that. You guys are amazing. This is this is blowing me away. This year has been the craziest, and we'll we'll be back definitely hardcore on uh, for a good post game show on um on Friday, and and let's go Giants, dude. Let's make these let's make these fun, man. I, I winning post game shows are always better than losing post game show. Thank you so much. I'm fatter. I mean flattered. Uh, hum baby, epic win. How much is ten gifted? That's four ninety nine times ten. I ain't no mathematician, but that's a fitty. That's a fitty. Pleading guilty, crazy. I, I guess there, there's probably YouTube videos popping up on that. I haven't followed it. Uh, Christopher Byers, we did win the game. I didn't know people would show up. Show starting to, starting like three hours late, but you guys came through. Um, yeah. Um, I appreciate it. I'm following lots of teams. Sacramento State has some really good prospects. J.P. Smith uh, is a beast. There's guys that I'll, I'll be talking about here come come June, uh, come the draft day. Uh, I, this, is one, this is one of the best. The top, there are dudes, Travis Bazana. There is, these, these, there is, this is the best draft in the history that I've had this channel uh, offensively. There are absolute beasts in this draft that uh, I don't even know who you take, you know, like the top 10. Giants, where, where, I don't remember where we're picking, but got a chance to get someone special this year. So, um, Otani is a liar. I mean, I don't think he was actually gambling, but I think he probably knows more than they're saying. Like, he just is in the dark on this, didn't know anything about it, had no idea. It's kind of hard to believe, but you know, who am I to, to, to what do I know? You know, I don't know. I just kind of like, really, you didn't know nothing. If there's no evidence that he knew nothing, then maybe we have to just assume he didn't know nothing. But we might have to make a video on the Otani thing because it's crazy right now. Oh, really? Well, I'll make a video tomorrow morning. I'll make a video on it tomorrow. Let's let that simmer for, for the evening. There's no reason to jump on it. I don't like to just jump on every news that's hot. I, I want to let get some time to think about it, get my thoughts together. You know, I, I haven't made a video yet on the arm thing, too, and the, the epidemic, the pitcher's epidemic. I, I, I want to make a video on that. But, again, I, I got to think about it, research a little bit. Um, I can say, All I can tell you is I don't think it's changing. I don't see it changing. I don't see pitchers like, yeah, let's start throwing slower. Let's a little less nasty, a little less filthy, a little less movement, a little less spin. That way our careers will last longer. No, they're trying to make it to the big leagues. They're trying to strike out as many dudes as they can. They're trying to make as much money as they can. They're going to keep doing it, in my opinion. Thank you so much for the support. He knew for sure, but they'll never prove it. That's what I'm saying. Hard for me to believe he didn't know anything. Hard for me to believe that. Eric, has any of Farhan's picks made an impact in the majors? Uh, unless you count like, um, what's his name? Uh, Patrick Bailey, who I wouldn't, I don't know if you'd say he's made an impact yet, but he has looked good. He's looked like he's a, a very good potential to be good. 
let's let's see, give him have a, let him have a full successful season first. Like Casey Schmidt had a short impact, and he got sent back down, and he's hasn't we haven't seen him this year. Um, so the, his drafting has sucked. The Giants have been one of the worst drafting teams in the last ten years, straight up. We've drafted guys that have been hurt the whole time. We've drafted pitchers who are supposed to be really good who haven't got past uh, high A. We drafted um, the guy from Arizona State, um, Hunter Bishop, who was, I mean, I liked the draft pick at the time because, so I can't, I guess I can't, you know, complain too much because I liked the pick at the time, but uh, he hasn't turned out. He's been hurt. Um, a lot of it's luck. Would you give up your arm for a few million? Uh, yes. I mean, I wouldn't give up the arm, like cut it off, but have kind of a bad elbow that needs surgery. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Did I, am I reading this right? Am I reading it? Jason Corona. We're the 50th spot. Hold up. I think that. <laughs> oh my god oh my god another 50 another 50 thank you randy runofson and thank you jason corona senna is on me tonight bro enjoy a nice meal on the road provecho i don't even know i had no idea we're gonna get this kind of support today of all days Thank you so much, and I will get a freaking bomb Santa uh, right now. Uh, I'll, I promise you that. Hunter Bishop is playing again. He's looking good. 50. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. You got a nice day. Thank you to my members. The Calioka Connection uh, is also contributing on a monthly basis. All the members, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Jason sent you a 50 spot. Unbelievable. Uh, two 50s. I'm going to shout out everyone, though. Nothing is too small. Nothing is is nothing's too big either. But we're getting close. Actually, maybe it is because uh, we're getting close to too big. Because I'm about to to lose it here. But uh, thank you to um, Jason Corona for the ten spot. Randy for the one ninety nine. Bo for gifting ten. Randy forty nine, and then Michael Roder for a five spot. Fitzy the missing ingredient and a fifty from Jason Corona. This is incredible. Uh, no heart attacks like genuinely is getting there. I got to check my pulse and stuff. But yeah, Bishop is looking awesome. I think I could turn the car off for a minute. I had 16%. My phone was dying. Um, wow, what a crazy stream. I didn't expect this kind of um, this kind of support, and I appreciate it very much. Giants, champions. Like I got my Giants hoodie on. This is 2010 uh, championship hoodie uh you guys are awesome thank you so much for the support we're coming up on 30 minutes um I, I i don't know what else there is to say other than let's freaking go on the road let's take out florida um i'd love to go to florida i don't think i can quite afford it but uh holy crap i'm getting there i'm getting there we're gonna probably do some road trips this year um and uh, check out the giants and some home games definitely as well i want to get to oakland for one last game at the coliseum before that place is abandoned. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but they, but if they don't tear it down, that could have a rough future. It could be like even worse than like the Astrodome because at least the Astrodome's enclosed. This thing would be exposed to the elements. I'm a little scared of what the future holds for the Coliseum. Oh, Joe, oh, Michael, I know it adds up. It definitely, have, Michael Roder, you've given hundreds, not 50 hundreds since the beginning of this channel and and definitely at least 50 over the last few weeks i i i i i don't even i i trust me i know you know when, they, when a big one all comes at once it's, it's amazing and it means a lot but small ones over time just as impactful it's just as impactful and i really do appreciate it uh i don't care if someone send me 50 cents that's 50 cents that you that's your 50 cents that you worked hard for this stuff's not growing on trees. You guys work hard for this. I, I really am amazed. I'm amazed. I don't know the proper term to say. 
I should say I'm humbled as the term goes. I don't know if that's the right term. I'm something. I'm just amazed. I'm just uh, absolutely uh, touched by the support. I, can't, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Uh, and if it wasn't for that, and I promise you this, if it wasn't for the support you guys have given me this year, I, I, I'd be in trouble with the with the channel. The views have been not have been a little shaky. Even my last documentary has done well. You know, I, I love it. I, I appreciate every view. You know, so if a documentary gets five, six thousand views, that's that's awesome. Some people would kill for that kind of view count, but I used to get like 50, 100,000, 200, 300,000. So it, it's 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 been a little bit of a drop this year. Thank you so much, Michael Roder. Now I won't be able to buy new underwear. Oh no! Don't don't give me your underwear money, please. Uh, we can tell you are grateful, Eric. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Cali Oki. Uh, at hundred percent, uh, Fisher is selfish. And just because they moved to Vegas, I don't think that's going to change his mind about spending. I don't think so either. Michael Roder, you still the man Hicks looking solid, major small ball. Imagine they just abandon it completely. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, I, I can't really do immaculate grid. I don't know how to do it on my phone. I mean, I could do it on my phone, but then I don't know how to post it so you can see it and hear me at the same time. So I, I guess we're not going to do Immaculate Grid today, but uh, we'll have Immaculate Grid probably on Friday, probably on Friday. And uh, I'm working on every, on the, the whole baseball channel and thinking about how we're going to move forward here and uh, trying to do some big things this year. But it's been a, an amazing year so far. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. I'm heading to get a bite to eat thanks to Jason Corona and everyone else and everyone who's here right now. Even if you're unable to donate, just your presence being here helps a ton. 40 people are here and I'm sitting in my car. I'm not even in the studio. I'm not even in the studio right now. That's what's crazy. I don't know what's on my hand, a little marker. But um, let's go Giants. Take care of the Rays. Take care of the Marlins. Take care of the fish. Take care of everything in Florida. And uh, let's make it happen. So. Giants are, are on a plane right now, probably. Uh, the most luxurious flight ever. Jung Hoo Lee's like, what? He's probably amazed. Uh, uh, he's over in South Korea. I don't even know if they fly over there. They just they can just drive everywhere and take the freaking train. I live there. I know. I get I get all over the place pretty pretty quickly. You know. I don't remember a a, a train trip from all the way South Korea all the way to to to, to the border pretty quick. So there's not, I don't see any reason to be flying all over the place, but uh, so Jung Hoo Lee, this might be a new experience. Um, yeah, Michael Roder, Giants going to be a force. Let's go. Thomas B with the two spot. Thanks for the time and effort you put into this. Thomas B, thank you so much. It is appreciated. It is uh, very much appreciated. I don't know what else I can say about that. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the gifties. Look forward to a, I may make a video uh, on the, uh, for members only to start for this, uh, this arm thing and give some of my initial thoughts because this is serious stuff, man. Serious stuff. We can't be having these Tommy Johns all the Tommy John needs to stay away from the giants. That's for dang sure. But, um, uh, I don't have, uh, the guitar with me, but I do have a little recording for you guys. Hope you have a great day, hum baby, and uh, let's keep it going here. We didn't hit any home runs, but we still got to play the song. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. I hope I say I got all I got everything. Jim Thurkill, Eric, since the Warrior left and the A's left, they should tear it down and build a new stadium, a site for expansion. I guess I don't know. They better have new ownership. They better have a new plan in Oakland because Oakland's been doing terrible here. Um, with 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 major league sports franchises, so they they're ready. Thank you, Thomas B. Thank you, Michael Roder. Thank you, real real Glock. Thank you, everybody. Zachary as well. Hicks is looking amazing. Uh, I appreciate everyone again. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, and we will talk to you on Friday or maybe tomorrow with a video. Thank you again. Have a great one. Good night, and we'll see you. When the giants come. Bye-bye.